It can be very frustrating when you're trying to issue commands to Siri, but your personal voice assistant doesn't respond. If Siri doesn't seem to be working on your iPhone or iPad, here are some of the best tips to get it back up and running. Hi, I'm Ellen and welcome to Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you're interested in more videos like this, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. Is Siri not responding when you hit the side button or the home button? The most likely reason Siri doesn't respond, something is disabled in the settings app. So let's go ahead and launch the settings app. And then we're gonna scroll down until we see Siri and search. Tap on that. And now make sure that the toggle switch is turned on where it says press side button or home button for Siri, depending on what device you have. You may also want to toggle on the switch that says allow Siri when locked. This will allow you to access Siri even when your device is in the locked mode. What if Siri doesn't react when you say, hey Siri? You should be able to access Siri without touching your device by just saying, hey Siri, when your iPhone or iPad is within earshot. If this doesn't work, you need to come back into the settings app, tap on Siri and search, and make sure that you have the toggle switch turned on that says, listen for Hey Siri. Remember that Hey Siri doesn't work if your device is face down on a table or closed inside a case. It also doesn't work if you have low power mode turned on. What if Siri is missing from your iPhone or iPad? Perhaps none of the suggestions above worked because Siri is missing from your settings area. It is possible that you do not see Siri options. There are two reasons. Siri may not be available in your region. Siri isn't available in all countries. Or it may be disabled in the restriction settings. And you can check this by launching the settings app and then scrolling down to where it says screen time and tap on that. Now scroll down until you see content and privacy restrictions, tap to open, and then now tap on allowed apps and make sure the toggle switch is turned on next to Siri and dictation. Are you still having problems with Siri? Make sure that your device has an active internet connection. Siri does require either Wi-Fi or cellular. And if you followed all of the advice above and nothing has worked, try these remaining tips. Restart your device, enable airplane mode, wait for one minute and then disable it. Reset your network settings, but take note that you might have to enter in your Wi-Fi passwords again. Make sure that your microphone is working properly. Remove the case if you have one, and then use a soft toothbrush to remove the debris from the mic area. Hopefully, you've managed to fix your Siri problem with these tips. But if Siri still isn't working correctly, a trip to the Apple Store may be in order. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section and I'll do my best to respond. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.